How's it going, Frank? It's going great. Thanks for letting me be here. Appreciate of it. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure to have you back Thank in you. the studio. Thank you. Yeah, so I got a question for you. Okay. There are so many agents in San Diego. I think it's about 17,000 right now. Something like that. So it can be overwhelming when you're trying to look for an agent. And normally, you know, you look online first and there's a ton of people out there. How do I choose the right agent? Well, you didn't have to go far, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, really, there's so many agents, so many ways to meet them. Um, and you know, a fit, you, you gotta determine your own fit. But I think what happens is that people, they don't know how to determine their own fit, kind of. You know? right. um, there's, there's the short answer, that there's really two, two things. One is ease of use. People, technology, technology's great, punch a button, go on some of the internet brokerages everyone knows the name of. You can go on there, you can look at a house. All that's awesome, ease of use. Yeah, I can look anywhere in five minutes, I know a neighborhood has got homes, I know the prices. Not saying that's bad at all. The problem with that is then you punch a button and now someone who paid to have an advertisement on there or to get their name to pop up, you as a buyer are touching that, you get a phone call, but you don't realize they paid money to get your information. You don't know their background. It's, it's, it's easy to get the house that you want to look, but then you don't know, you know what's their background. So that's, that's the first part, is the ease of use is great for looking. Mm -hmm. the, the part that you need to then veer over to is who should I work with? So I would suggest um, once you get a phone call from somebody or someone says I have a friend who's an agent, they're all over, um, you should make sure you vet them. That's where I'm really going with that. Right. Whatever your particular things are. Some people it's just how you deal with each other. Maybe they have a great personality. But beyond those sort of things, this is a major or probably the most major investment you'll ever make in your life. So I think it's important to ask them straight up, you know, what's their track record? Um, do they sell homes on a consistent basis? Um, do they, or did they sell homes really well 20 years ago and now they're just writing on their name and they don't care if they sell one and they're just glad that you came along? Um, do they make a career out of it? Mm -hmm. um, how do they negotiate? You know, how do they know the market? There's there's, there's a lot of, we talk about 17, 18,000 agents. A huge majority of those have sell one to two homes maybe a, a year. Uh, very few of them had a business background or a sales and marketing background. So, you know, you just you got to funnel it down to who's going to help you the most. And I, I think that sometimes people get intimidated. They can't ask those questions or they feel like you're putting me on the spot by saying, how many homes have you sold in the last year? Or, mm -hmm. or um, how do you do your business? Are you going to be with me from the, the time that you start? Uh, you know, when I pick up the phone or the moment I sign on the dotted line or you know that I'm going to be working with you, am I gone and I'm going to pawn you off to an associate of mine? Mm -hmm. I mean, those are the questions you need answered, I think. Right. And I often find after the fact when I get to know buyers or someone who just bought, they do that I wish I had known thing to me. And I think it's important to not be saying that, you know, know the, know the questions to ask up front. Yeah. So that would be my take on how you find someone. And it's, it's just going to end as a better result for you. You'll feel more confident in them and you're going to find a great house. Yeah. It can be hard, but like you said, if you vet out, you know, the right people and is it a personality fit, which is huge. Do they know how to communicate, which right. is also a big thing. And Negotiate. And, yeah, negotiate and what what is their experience and how much have they done what within the you know past year or right. whatever it was just to see, you know, is it their full time job? And right. I mean there's so many things that you can ask them, but just make sure that you're vetting them out Absolutely. and you're you know, they give you the right information to be prepared yeah. and, and if they don't have, have the education. It. If yeah. they don't have it, then I would walk to the next person because this is the biggest thing you're ever gonna probably buy. Absolutely. Yeah. You need someone on your side that's gonna <laughs> yeah. fight for you, like you said. Exactly. So yeah. That's wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. That was Frank Grannis.